नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल इम्प्लीमेंट मल्टीनॉमियल नाई बेस क्लासीफायर फ्रॉम स्क्रैच वी यूज मल्टीनॉमियल नाई बेस क्लासीफायर फॉर प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक डॉक्यूमेंट क्लासिफिकेशन वी रिप्रेजेंट आई डॉक्यूमेंट विथ अ फीचर वैक्टर एक्स आई कंटेनिंग काउंट्स ऑफ द वर्ड्स इन द वोकैबलरी सो लेट से देर आर एम वर्ड्स इन द वोकैबलरी सो वी हैव we we basically maintain the counts for each of the word in the vocabulary in the in the feature vector for i document and sum of all feature counts is equal to the total number of words in the document in mathematical term the feature vector given the label yr is distributed according to multinomial distribution with m parameters the parameters are w1 y r w2 y r all the way up to w m y r and each of these parameter corresponds to the word in the vocabulary so we can write write all these parameters in a vectorized form and we say that the feature vector given the class table is drawn from multinomial distribution with parameter vector w y r so now you can see that the total number of parameters will be m times k plus k where this m times k is the total number of features for k multinomial distributions and k here is the number of labels so for each label we have one multinomial distribution and that multinomial distribution has got m parameters that's why we have m into k or m times k total number of features for k multinomial distributions and we have in addition to that k total number of priors one prior per uh, per class now let's see how to perform the parameter estimation the jth component of parameter vector wyr for multinomial distribution of class yr is calculated as follows so here wjyr is equal to the sum of sum of jth word wherever the label is yr across all n documents divided by the total number of words in all the documents wherever we have feature wherever we have label yr so here the numerator is sum of feature xj for all examples from class yr and and the denominator is the total count of features the total count of features from all examples from class yr with laplace correction we add alpha to the numerator and m times alpha to the denominator so alpha is the correction that we add for each feature and that's why we have m times alpha added to the to the denominator and now what we are doing is here alpha since we are using laplace correction we set this alpha to 1 we perform the inference in the log space here in the numerator we first multiply the count matrix with transpose of log of weight vector and add log of prior probabilities to it and then we exponentiate the resulting value in the denominator we perform the same calculation as numerator but for different class labels and sum them up the denominator normalizes the numerator between 0 0 and 1 thus giving us the posterior probability of label yc given the count vector x let us implement multinomial naive bayes classifier and we implement here a class and in that class we have methods like fit that implements parameter estimation for multinomial naive bayes then we have a method that calculates log of product of likelihood and prior then we have a predict method that predicts class label for the input examples and we have predict underscore prova method that calculates the probability of examples belonging to different classes 
Let's first carefully look at the FIT method. In FIT method, just like other naive base classifiers, we first calculate the number of samples, number of features, and number of classes. And then we instantiate the parameters, the parameters of k multinomial distribution w and the, the priors. So the parameters are initialized to 0 and the parameter vector w has shape equal to k by m and the, the w prior has, has a shape of k. This is a vector and this is w is a feature, w is a weight matrix and w prior is a weight vector corresponding to the prior probabilities. Now here what we do is we estimate the parameters for different classes separately. So first we filter the examples from class C and the, those examples are represented in feature matrix X underscore C and then we then what we do is we get the total count of features for class C. So this is what will be used in the denominator. Then we estimate the parameter for multinomial distribution for class C by first summing up across the across the columns or across the features and this is the sum of uh, this will give us a column wise sum so this is sum by by features and we add a Laplace correction alpha which is set to 1 and we divide this by the total count of features plus alpha times number of features. So this is the denominator and this is how we estimate the parameters of multinomial distribution for class C and this is remember this is a vectorized implementation. Then we estimate the class priors by, by first finding out the number of examples of class C adding alpha which is Laplace correction and dividing it by the total number of samples in the training set plus alpha times k which is k is the number of classes and this is how we estimate the prior for class C. The log likelihood prior product is the, is the numerator that we have implemented here. This is the count vector. We multiply it by the transpose of log of the, the, the weight matrix and we add the log of prior vector to, uh, to this and this gives us log of product of likelihood and prior. While predicting the class label what we do is we take this log of product of likelihood and prior and assign a class label that maximizes this particular product. While calculating the probability we again perform the same computation which is log of we calculate log of product of likelihood and prior and then we exponentiate that value and we divide it by the sum of probabilities for different classes and this basically helps us to normalize and this gives us a probability vector uh, where each component is the probability of that example belonging to that particular class. So let us uh, demonstrate how this implementation works. And note that this implementation works for binary as well as multi-class setup. So first we will see the binary setup. So here we generate synthetic data with two classes and each example has got five features and we are generating thousand such examples. Then we train, uh, then we split the training data into training and test set. So we have 750 examples in the, in the training set and 250 examples in the, in the test set. Then we estimate the parameters of multinomial naive based classifier but by first instantiating its object and calling the fit method by passing the the feature matrix and the label vector and you can see that uh, the parameters as estimated by our implementation are as follows so we have about 47 percent examples from class 0 and 53 percent examples from class 1 
and uh, these are two parameter vectors corresponding to uh, two classes. The first row is the parameter vector corresponding to class 0 and second row is the parameter vector corresponding to class 1. So this is, uh, these are the parameters of multinomial distribution for class 0 and these are parameters for multinomial distribution of class 1 and we can see that all these all these parameters are in fact the probabilities and they will sum up to 1. Now that we have trained a multinomial lie based classifier, let us evaluate it with the test examples. So here we get a classification report on the test examples. So these are the actual test labels and we get the predicted test labels by calling the predict function from our implementation and the classification report prints precision recall f1 score accuracy and macro and weighted average so you can see that the precision and recall numbers are rather low and this is due to random label assignment in the synthetic data let us calculate probability of each example belonging to both classes so we demonstrate that on first five examples in the test set we call the predict underscore proba method with the with the feature vector for for the test examples and you can see that we obtain the probability of each example belonging to two classes class 0 and class 1 and you can see that the both the this probability will sum up to 1 so so based on this particular probability assignment you can see that the first example is assigned to class 1 uh, in fact all five examples uh, will be assigned to class 1 because the probability for class 1 for each of the example is is the highest among uh, among both the classes Now let's look at multi-class setup by generating data from three classes. So again here uh, we generate 1000 examples and now instead of two classes we have three classes. We follow exactly what we did in the two class setup. We call the fit method in order to estimate the parameters of multinomial lie based classifier. Now here we have a prior vector with three components class 0, class 1 and class 2 these are the prior probabilities for three classes and we see uh, instead of uh, instead of two rows we have three rows in the uh, in the in the weight matrix and these are the these are the parameters of multinomial distribution corresponding to three classes we evaluate the classifier with classification report on the test examples and just like the two class setup here also the precision and recall numbers are rather low and that is due to random label assignment in the synthetic data. Finally we predict probability for each test example belonging to different classes and here you can see that there are three numbers for each of the example so these are these are the probabilities of this example belonging to uh, three different classes so you can see that the first example has probability of 0 0.30 of belonging to class 0 0.39 of belonging to class 1 and 0 0.30 of belonging to class 2 and based on these probabilities you can see that the example uh, 0 would be assigned to class one example two would be assigned to class two example three will be assigned to class zero example four will be assigned to class one and example five will be assigned to class zero so in this video we implemented multinomial naive based classifier from scratch we implemented the parameter estimation method as well as the label prediction method 
So the categorical naive-based classifier, which is one more type of naive-based classifier that we studied, we leave it to you for implementation as an exercise.